going to go for a ride today, this morning, and the Tinglewood tree, uh, giant Tinglewood tree, uh, and a couple of other places, probably the treetop walk as well. So um, it's a cool morning, it's a little bit of rain, and, uh, but there's no wind. We'll see how we go. I've got full wind protection on today, pants and top, winter gloves. Uh, it's going to be cool riding today. It's 20 degrees, top of 20 degrees. I don't think it's reached that yet because it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. So this is Coal Mine Beach. And that's probably where the, uh, that, that platform, that little port there is where the boat leaves for tourists around the inlet here. Giant tingle tree, hilltop lookout. I'm going that way. Anyone coming? Nope. Let's go. Tingle Drive. She said the road's pretty good. It's a dirt road. The smell of the bush is just awesome. Under the way to the giant Tinglewood tree. Oop. There's uh, the inlet, Warpole is just down there to the right. But this is magnificent. Truly, truly magnificent. Well, this is Hilltop Lookout, and we're heading for the giant Tinglewood tree. So I was right. So looking out here, uh, war poles just to our right. A bit slippery. All right, just take it nice and easy. Well, it's one way, so there's no one coming the opposite direction. Well, there shouldn't be anyway. There could be wild, there could be animals. There could be kangaroos and other wildlife coming in onto the track, so just be careful. And it's been raining and it's slippery a little bit, so watch the slipperiness, especially in places where there's just a little bit of mud or that soil that just goes a little bit slippery, muddy when, uh, when wet, like here. It's just enormous.
they are monolithic. And it's, uh, it's raining. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. It might not be sunshine, but it's a unique, beautiful day in itself. Here I am riding through this forest. It's overcast and it's drizzling rain. Perfect, perfect. Okay, single tree, 100 meters. This is a big one. Okay, well, look. The rain is starting to set in by the looks of things, so I'm just going to cover up the two cases and put the wet weather gear on, otherwise I'm just going to be soaked. Even though it's only drizzling slightly, over, over the course of several hours I could get quite saturated, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the uh, wet weather gear on. Cover up in here, oh look at this, beautiful little shelter, ideally built for my purposes. And, uh, right, oh look at this, nice and dry. So where are we? Welcome to the giant tingle tree. The Noongar people of the southwest welcome you to the giant tingle tree. Please respect and care for our traditional lands. No worries. You are here. Okay, so that's the, uh, oh, the hilltop road. It's going to continue around until it gets to here, unless we turn off and go to the pool. Well, let's have a look. I think we should. Okay, rates tingle, the yellow tingle, and the red tingle. They are tingle trees. There are three types of tingle tree. The red, that's a eucalyptus, the yellow, and the rates. Red uh, tingle trees have very large trunks, sometimes up to 20 meters in circumference. They can grow to 75 meters tall. The yellow tingle grows to 35 meters high and the rates tingle to 60. Right. These trees, especially the red tingle, only grow around Walpole between the Deep River in the west, the Bow River in the east and within 10 kilometers of the coast, an area of approximately 6,000 hectares. Red tingle trees can go for uh, can grow for over 400 years. And uh, here's one right here next to uh, the information cabin. Inside of the tree. This is uh, a walk, it's about a kilometre walk along this uh, bitumen track to the giant Tinglewood tree, but enjoy this. The rain is easing up a little bit, there's just a fine spray at the moment. Oh, hang on a sec. Tingle spider. Today the red tingle is a giant amongst the eucalypts growing up to 75 meters. Marvel at the huge buttressed trunk which provides stability in the moist soil for this shallow rooted tree. This giant tingle has a girth of 24 meters. Many of the larger red tingles are over 400 years old. That's an auditorium inside there.
<clears throat> incredible and just out there is another huge one that will take this one's place one day We come to a fork in the road. The car park's 200 meters that way, but you can go to get to Warpole via a 10 kilometer track. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to the car park. <laughs> but first of all, just have a just take a wander down here. Oh, gee. These things have fallen recently, probably in the last few days. There have been some really strong winds. Yep. Anyway, there's a, a walking trail that takes you back to, uh, to Walpole. Perhaps some other lifetime I'll come back and do this. Not today. Okay, well, uh, we've visited the, uh, the giant tingle tree and uh, the rain has eased up. It's stopped raining. Hopefully I'm going to dry out now. And uh, we're going to continue on this dirt road, see uh, where else it goes. There are some other locations that it stops at, tourist spots. It's a one-way drive, so uh, it links to other areas that are probably worthwhile having a look at. So here we go. Two kilometers, uh, circular pool, six. Okay, I want to go to circular pool. Let's have a look. a little bit of a uh, light spray I guess it's coming off the tree so I'm just gonna close the visor a bit okay the track is going down it is a very good track it's well compacted just uh, tiny little ruts left over from the rain but we're just gonna take it nice and easy there's no one coming in the opposite direction because it's a one way so that's one consolation one thing I don't have to worry about. To a, uh, a cross in the road, a crossing, Sapper Bridge, four kilometres that way. But the sign says dry weather road only. So I'm going to take that warning. One way, burning planned. If staying in the area, contact parks and wildlife services. Okay. I don't think they're going to do that today. I don't know where that goes, but I'm heading this way. Can we see if there's any more rain coming? No. Uh, T intersection, Warpole, Circular Pool, three. Let's go and have a look. Well, we're three kilometres from Circular Pool. Let's go and have a look. So where are we? 
we? You are here? Okay. Franklin Liver Lookout. Alright. Class 2, Class 3, 400 metre return, allow 20 minutes. Let's go. Lifeblood of the Noongar people. There's the Franklin River down there. Which, why, how and what? Okay, well, we're down by the river and it's starting to rain a little bit consistently now. There's a pool, pool down there, big pool down there, which is the one that we saw from the, the other lookout. As you can see, it's uh, it's drizzling now, pretty intensely. I figure because we're up high that this is going to set in for a while. So I might head on down back into Walpole, have lunch because it's about midday and I'm I'm a little bit hungry and it's not too far away. Walpole's only less than 10 kilometres away. We'll be there in 15 minutes and uh, have lunch, retire back to the hotel room, download some of this footage, recharge the batteries, and hopefully. By about mid-afternoon this might clear up because I do want to do the um, treetop walk. I think that's going to be spectacular. It's about 20 kilometres out of Warpole. It's not too far, everything's pretty close, but uh, hopefully this rain will have eased up a little by then. Okay, well, head on down. <laughs>